Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Ultimate Apocalypse casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we've got a 2 vs 2 vs 2 vs 2 on Yelaganda Lowlands. Playing on Team 2 as the Dark Eldar, we've got Demi and his teammate Squares as the Imperial Guard. On Team 4, we've got Yarnum Hunter as the Sisters of Battle and Psy Curd as the Dark Eldar. On Team 3, we've got Matty 10114 as the Chaos Demons and his teammate Catgirl as the Sisters of Battle. And we have got on Team 1, Enigma Mystery Mac as the Tyranids and Stranger as the Chaos Space Marines. It's quite exciting. 2v2v2v2. 2v2 2v2. Don't see these very often. You'll notice if you're familiar with this more traditional kind of map, it's usually got a barrier down here. So teams on this side of the map have to kind of like go around and down this way. But it seems like they've got rid of them for this version of the map, which is quite nice. It allows people just to go and grab all their bits and bobs, much like the teams on the northern side. And well, northern and eastern side, shall we say. So at the moment, you, you tend to see north versus east and south versus west in the opening remarks of these kinds of games when it's a multiple 2v2 kind of game. So what we got, we've got Impale Guard and Dark Eldar versus Chaos Space Marines and Tyranids, which should be too crazy, but they've both got factions that can get a lot of chaff on early in the game. Also lots of artillery and killy bits for both sides as well into the mid-games, considering with their defilers, grenade launchers and all that stuff. Now we've got Sisters and Dark Eldar and Sisters and Chaos Demons, so Gale on Gale action potentially when the Sisters meet the other Sisters up top on the side. We'll see two Misters, if we can continue the rhyming, going up towards each other, probably looking for a bit of a slap round with those large icons that they carry in their hands. Are they going to meet each other? Or just passing passing like ships in night, at night. There we go. Very polite. Like, how do you do, young man? Love to see it. Dark Eldar will spot these battle sisters there. They start to do some shooting. Wonderful sound effect from the battle sisters. Managing to get one model of the warriors down. I've also seen some argy-bargy down over here. Tortured slave waddling as quickly as he can away from these spine gaunts. Good job that they do very little in the way of damage. Won't win in a straight-up ranged fight with a Dark Eldar warrior squad. I know how, how, how early when I mentioned that the that the teams on this side and teams on this side tend to fight each other first and foremost. Well, no, clearly, I mean, uh, Enigma Mystery Mac is a side that's going to go and fight absolutely everyone. Although not doing all that well, they has lost the entire squad. Do, just, to, just to one Caroness and one Missionary. Just shows how fragile those Spine Gaunts are. They're seeing a significant amount of Imperial conscripts ready to sacrifice their life for Kamara by the looks of things. Relic has been gone, well, has gone to Demi. Although there is another Relic to snag down here as well. The centre of the map is quite an important piece to keep in your back pocket if at all possible. We see round two electric boogaloo of these warriors up against these battle sisters. But already been chased off by those guys. Got spy gaunts surrounding this poor missionary here. Good lord, he's not in a bit in a brilliant situation, is he? Losing his morale. Unable to continue capturing. Oh no, I think he's actually caught it. Well done, Cat Gal. She's done a job. But the missionary will be slaughtered. Eaten for the spine gaunt's tea, I imagine. But relic going to Stranger on this side. Who, who's the relic for, for this one? So Matt's gone for the relic for these guys. And then Dark Elder over here, Psycho, he's gone for the relic, so. It's fairly fairly makes sense. I mean, Dark Elder, they've got quite strong titans in the late games. I don't know if we've ever seen a Dark Elder Titan on this channel before. I know I've seen one in-game before. I remember getting crumped by one good and proper many moons ago. Oh, one spine gone. Just, just chilling out down here. He's got no friends. He's got no fans. But the spine gaunts are amassing. Everyone be quite polite at the moment. No major aggression so far. I do believe everyone's probably as is good and proper in Ultimate Apocalypse. Focusing on their economy before they actually push for anything else. Seeing lots of reclamation pools for Mr. Mac there. Economy's on the go over on this side. Oh, we are seeing a Herald of Nurgle. Like a Quasi Slugman with a very jaunty what, arm swing. I was going to say step, but he's not stepping, is he? Slivering around. Makes me think like he's got some sort of tree bark on him. 
Not much economy going on over here, though. In the sense that they're not building up a million plasma generators. Just fine. Maybe they're focusing on early game aggression. That's exactly what they're doing. I've got Battle Sisters Akimbo over here. As well as... Are they Surfins? Oh, no. Surfins belong to Yanam Hunter. These are cat girl Surfins. Being led forward by Demon Lord. Gotta keep your eyes on that boy. Wonderful at killing buildings of vehicles according to his unit card. These guys just chilling out in the middle at the moment. Do have an infantry command over on this side to help protect their extra listing post over here. I've seen the Spangots moving in. Surfins throwing in some grenades. We've got some Termagants here as well. And ooh, we've got some Gargoyles as well. I like that. That's nice. I mean, everything's dead here. <laughs> the uh, two of his little ones don't, don't seem to be living for very long in these engagements. But that's fine. As long as they're distracting things, that's the main thing. One grenade takes out almost... In fact, what's that the entire squad then? You're going to need more Tyranids. You're going to need a lot more Tyranids if it's going to take 10 Surfins to kill... How many was that? That was like at least about 50 of them. Surely. Oh, we've got a, a magma vent and a Carnifex chamber being spat into existence from these Ripper Swarms here. Remember that in Ultimate Apocalypse, the Tyrans do have a build unit, unlike in Unification. Surfins have spotted the Phallic magma vent. And Catgirl is bringing her Battle Sisters and Surfins down to take on these buildings. It will take them a while. I mean, as you can see, the Carnifex chamber very resistant to the ball to fire. The Demon Lord comes in, and he's able to do a good chunk of damage. Again, it'll take him a fair while to get through it, but significantly quicker than everyone else. I'm going to see Yarnum Hunter bring over his sisters onto this side. So very aggressive. The sisters, no one going for their nearest enemy. They are trying to conquer the center of the map. The center of the map has got no water on it. Not normally there's a river on it, from what I can understand. Can't remember if it's negative cover or not. But clearly they've drained it. It's like we're in Belgium. But obviously, you know, like the... I imagine that the people local to this area probably have an accent that I can understand. Crown effects chamber now also being slapped around by some blue horrors. But again, very, you know, fortified structures. An ultimate apocalypse to take a while to kill unless you're using a specific kind of weapon. These guys losing the morale as the Imperial Conscripts come over. See if they can chase these guys away. Got some corrosive acid on the battle sisters over here. Losing a fair of their number. Everyone losing their morale on account of some Dark Eldar shenanigans. Also got some scourges that have been summoned in. Do you believe that they've got some sort of teleport nearby? There we go. They've got a portal. I'm not sure why they're zapped in there. But maybe, oh, who knows? Maybe, maybe that maybe that jumping mechanic is actually a teleporting mechanic in this. Either way, this Fellow Plasma Generator is looking a little bit worse for wear, I do have to say. Some Ecclesiarchal Servitors shimming and shaking over here. Do you believe that they've got their disassemble ability? Which will help them break down the Fellow Plasma Generator, should they wish. Warriors trying to shoot down these Hellions. Also got some Sentinel Scout Walkers, and they are armed with an auto cannon. So they will be great against the current composition that the sisters have. The Retributors arming themselves with heavy flamers. No multi melts for them at the moment. And yeah, triple Sentinel Scout Walkers. That's going to do these guys a real headache. They're not going to be happy customers. And the Scout Sentinels actually can just resist a lot of the incoming damage at the moment. Scourges are going to get some Dark Lance out there, so that will cause them a few issues and so. Got one Dodger Slave just in the middle. <laughs> Farming away. Farming those dank memes. Magma vent over here. After the Carnifex chamber. Not sure why the Carnifex chamber was built here. I'll be honest. But, yep, the phallus is blurted. Fading away. I've got one lictor coming out. And not many crazy things other than this engagement continuing. Imperial conscripts taking it on the chin. And chasing these guys away, even with their morale broken. Quite a terrifying sight. Prepare your thing, Demi says. Which I assume he means the thermal plasma generator. But with explosive grenades coming from the warriors, 
It's looking a little bit... A little bit, um... Uh, dangerous down here. Not sure if Demi just called his teammate a slag. Haha, <laughs> Play on words, we like it. Oh, that's the... That, that's the their grenades bring out corrosive acid. Right, okay, that makes sense. I think. Unless he did the same thing at the same time. We threw a grenade, and then... Hmm... That looks different to me, because it had a circle at the bottom. That's my thinkings, that's my theories. Either way, while they're going on and bashing that side, the uh, sisters from the Eastern team are now going to come over and see if they can bash some stuff. They have got their Inferno pistols, so we'll help them take on buildings a little bit better. A smidge any better. And we also have a Blood Crusher as well. So Howl and Ergle, Zinch, Blood Crusher, all we need, some sexy demon ladies... And we are good to go. Let's have a look at the economies really quick. 226 and 110 and 15 or 144 and 140 compared to 156 and 53 and 177 and 106. 176 and 144, 134 and 100 and 145, 69, way the meme number and 1000. Right, okay, well clearly. <laughs> but why have you got no green money coming in? You've got. Plasma generators. This is confusing. I do not understand it. Powers of the warp. Chaos. It's 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 heresy, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Alright, Psycho, I'll roll with it. Surely you knew what it was gonna I was gonna say at the exact moment. The yeah, Sentinel Sentinel Walkers, they're giving you a good bash. They want to keep their distance. Focus fire. Jelly Visage going on the surfins. As the blue horrors stand in all the acid. Morale being broken for these warriors in the middle, but they've surrounded by a good few bunch of people. They have lost a lot of the... Well, they've, they've lost all the structures down in the centre here. But they still have access to... Oh, it's neutral. Never mind. No one owns it. it. Belongs to no one. But Demi still has the strategic point here. So that's pretty rad. Pretty rad and pretty mad. These guys on the south side, they're, they're being quite silent. They're just building their stuff up. I imagine. They've got their demon pit. Got the machine pits. Double desecrate, desecrate strongholds. So they're going for the big, thick economies. Leaving everyone else to battle it out, which is fair enough. Keep your head down, that's what Mar always said. Over on this side, Seraphins and Battle Sisters. Oh, we've got some brunette Battle Sisters, that's exciting. Sisters for every kind of person's preference. True inclusion in the Dawn of War community. Whoever said it couldn't be done, certainly not me. Got triple great demon portals over here, so that I assume that the planes do lots of deep striking. And raiders have also got some lads in the back. Just so they could do some more shooting. Ah, look at it. There we go. Good man, Demi knows. A real man builds a Talos when he plays Dark Eldar. Useless. No good, but... We'll try anyway. I mean, the, the real failure is not trying to, to start off with, isn't it? Oh, these Sentinel Scout Walkers, they've got little... They've got little, um... What do you call them? Little bits on them. Little stick bits with lights on them. That's gnarly. So realistically, at the moment, the people on the west, all they have to do is just chill out. They've got the slag deposit over here. They've got critical locations. They've got one extra relic in the center as well. So all they need is just to hold this and tech up. And then eventually outdo everyone. I mean, we've already got a disco going over onto this side. We've we got a disco for these Dark Elders? Yeah, we've got discos going on all over. By the looks of things. Kind of fix no moving over on this side. Yeah, the, the real pressure will be on the southern team. They've got to start making some plays, at least just to capture their own slag deposits. I mean, they've got theirs, I suppose. Maybe these ones as well would be quite handy. They'll have some Blight drones sneaking in. And dear, oh dear, all these plasma generators are going to be good and proper crumped. Killing the heretics as they try and flee. And try and repair stuff as well. All it takes is killing a couple of plasma generators to unleash a chain reaction, murdering everything else. But Hive Tyrant is getting some stab-ins on the Blood Crusher. Does manage to take him out in a flash of red. Kind of affects that falling there. And we've also got some Tyrant Guards as well. Huge models, these Tyrant Guards. Don't remember them being... That big on the tabletop. But then again, my memory is quite faded. Lots of fire for the Battle Sisters and the Celestians. 
And how are the plasma generators going? They're still there. They're still there. It does seem like one... No, oh, what are you called? How can I click on you? Your blight drone has gone down. And they're not really out DPSing. Oh, we've got a Hellsmith. That's why it's not dying. Fair enough, Hellsmith got a ridiculous repair and rebuild rate. So not bad at all. I see enlisting person shooting at the Celestians. Won't survive very long. And surrounded by a whole smorgasbord of tank traps to prevent anyone from engaging in close combat. Go on, Tars, get them! Oh, you can jump! That's exciting. Where are you going? Just spinning around, having a good old time. Still haven't, still haven't killed anything. Killed nothing whatsoever. But he was enjoying himself, and that's the main thing. Go on, get him. Give him the good stab in, as the witches do the same. Oh my goodness, Tars and Tars action, go! Kiss! Ah, oh, you tease. That's a lot, that's a lot of Sentinel Scout Walkers. And actually, to be honest, are they all equipped with... Oh, some of them have got missile launchers. Some of them have got auto cannons. Either way, the... It's a good idea. Save money on having to buy instead, like... Instead of buying a bunch of Lehman Russes, you buy a bunch of Sentinel Scout Walkers. That'll give you a, a bit of vehicle armor as well as some anti-vehicle stuff with your auto cannons and missile launchers. Well done, Tars. You almost did something there. Just jumping in and dying. Yeah, it gives them a little bit of vehicle stuff while not having to invest too much into all of it. Dear, oh dear. Desecrate of Nergal coming in and vomiting on everything. That's not what you want, even if you're a Tyranid. Last thing you want to do is snack on someone's vom. Got a lot of warriors now, though. And, ooh, we've got Chaos Terminators. Look at these boys. Hiding in the hole. Can't hide in the hole forever, though. Especially when Chaos are knock, knock, knocking on your door. Got some artillery in the form of these Shadow Fiends. They're getting their yellow horrors. Oh, sorry, look, the dog. Oh, that's what it's coming from these guys. I was wondering. I've never seen these guys do artillery before. Oh, no, they are. They are doing artillery. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Sad time in the pipeline for these boys. Also got... Oh, you're just chilling out. You're just maxing and relaxing. Because it ain't too taxing. That's the crater of Nurgle. Picking up a warrior and lobbing him in the air. Like a shuttlecock at a tennis game. Do have the Chaos Terminators. Also going to go for the Reaper Cannons. To reap what they sow, which is death and murder. The Terminators, they're not going to die anytime soon. They've got health for days. Resistant against knockback from the artillery that's coming in. Also benefiting from that heavy cover bonus as well. All the Desecrators have gone down. And Stranger is also pulling back the units with that are losing their models. Gives them a chance to rebuild themselves. Which is very, very nice. Let's assume that's what he's doing. Or is he just spreading them out to avoid the artillery fire? Either ways, he's consciously making decisions about his unit placement. Which is pretty neater, if you ask me. Anyway, all these blue horrors are dead. Demon Lord, also a bit brown bread as well. But, I mean, and this is the most infuriating artillery unit in the game. Hellspawn, it's like he's firing away. And the rate of fire, and the range of his fire as well. It's incredibly accurate. It doesn't do amazing damage compared to other artillery units. But it's still just quite frustrating to see, just to be, like, constantly poked. Do I have the scourges of Psycho? Oh, no. Your psycho is on this side, right? It's quite confusing. So we've got Demi and Psycho. Demi. Good lord. Demi and Squares. They're down here. They have captured everything. They're having a grand old time. So yeah, their economy and their map control is certainly going to cause these guys issues later on in the game. These guys have lost all their connections to this stuff. Down on this side. I mean, the, the Tyranids and the Force of Chaos still do have their access to. The Thermal Plasma Generator here. And they've also defended up some frag spore mines. Just chilling out next to it. Of course, I've got to push out for all the Termies. Have you got two? Oh, you've got a... I mean, you've got one Chaos Lord there. A champion... Oh, a champion of corn. Right, okay, that makes sense. I was like, you can't have two Chaos Lords. That's not how it works. Can't get multiples of heroes, surely. 
But no. Uh, got some corn terminators, so clearly Stranger's gone for a corn theme. Very popular choice for Chaos. Got a great and clean one on the field. And what else are we going for? We've also got a Demon Prince of Nurgle, so clearly Matt10114 has gone for more Nurgle focus. That girl bringing over some Celestians. Adds fit in the Orby ability. I assume it keeps them alive for longer. Absolutely. Bonkers.com. Can they survive being shrouded in fire? Or who? Oh, is it the Count Contaminants that have been shrouded in fire? Lord knows at this point. But, yeah, the sisters not surviving that engagement whatsoever. Now we've got the Nergal, Desecrator, and Demon Prince engaging in mortal combat. Blue Horrors trying to keep these guys dead, but they won't be dead. They're going to survive. Because the Terminators and Terminators don't die very easily. Which makes sense. They've got quite decent armor. Got big weapons. Also got a teleporting feature as well. And they're just going to walk straight in. Do you have an artisan? Ooh, an artisan. Hello. What do you do? You're just a tech marine, but a lady. And I like it. Murder for everyone. We do have an exorcist. Ready to exorcise the demons. But clearly, these are not demons. They are men. And what's worse than that in today's 2023 world that we find ourselves in? Attempts are being made to build up demon claw obelisks. But it does not seem like they'll have it. It'll happen in time. And it does look like that cat girl is going to be the first out in this matchup. We have some Kelsey stuff going on. Grand clean one over here. But the Tyranids are still in the base. Lots of gene stealers to rip and tear. Flesh from fettered burn. Red, I mean, the Grand clean one could have been quite useful up here, to be honest. For defensive purposes. But yeah, these guys put a lot of effort into holding on to it. They lost a lot of the forces while pulling on down here. And maybe they didn't have enough to... Well, maybe not enough economy to rebuild all that they had lost. Maybe they were being out by the dudes down on the south side who seem to be concentrating a lot more on going with their tech. Maybe. Oh, right. right. If you want access to free great and clean ones, could that have helped you? Either way, the <laughs> stranger loses his main HQ. So we'll need to redo them all. So while Matt might not be able to win, his corner of the map might be absolutely wiped out by now, but he can at least be an absolute nuisance to the people who killed him. We also have the Dark Eldar and Imperial Guard working together to come down here. While these guys are out gallivanting along and killing things, these guys are going to strike. Very unfair, really. A little bit cheeky. The Dark Elder are not known for a fair fight. Why fight fair when you can fight over there and reclamation pools being cut down or blasted down even? Great and clean one still knocking about. This poor hive tyrant in the middle. That is that is not where you want to be, really, is it? Just imagine the smell. And, the, and, have, and have these guys been given extra jiggle physics? Look at that. Look at that badonkadonk. Just... I'm not sure if that's the badonk. Something's bonking or something's donking. I'm not sure what... What kind of verb I would use for it. Claude Fiend out for Demi. But they are fleeing. Why are you fleeing? Are you being attacked? I'm not sure. Well, we've got a soul portal. That's exciting. And these guys are mopping up the remainder of this stuff. Matt is surviving himself by keeping a warp gate here. A grown clean one still wrecking through the base. Now, one thing that the these guys can do... I mean, I'm not sure where all the Tyranids went. Could, could, could be doing some more Tyranids, but... Gene Sealer's clearly not killing all those great and clean ones. But they're just going to rebuild over here. Because, I mean, why not? They've now got one half of the map. So even though Demi and the... Uh, and Squares player. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're a Eldar nuke thing, I think. 
That's cool. Like that. Lots of boomy bits. We now also have Reapers firing as part of their artillery. But yeah, as, as I was saying, sir, even the Demian Squares were keeping this little quadrant nice and safe for them, for their economy. Well, the guys on the south now have access to just all of this unfettered land ready for the plucking and the picking. But, I mean, they are also losing their base at the same time, so I don't know whether that's going to help them at all. These are... This is, is, are you destroying them all so they can build them up over here? Unusual. But we'll see how it goes. Warp gate over here. Being killed. More things being fired on. Huge expanse of damage. Got a soul storm in there as well. We have these reapers, man. Very long range. Very large area of effect. Not a battle that you want to be an infantryman in. And we're certainly seeing that as the Imperial Guard. Don't really have any conscripts. They've decided, you know what? My job as an Imperial Guardsman is to build defensive stuff and hold the line. Hold the line, gosh darn it, he's going to do. Nothing's going to stop him. We've also got in Are you... Oh, you're Dark Eldar turrets. That's fine. That's fine. That's all right. What's going on down here? These guys are not pushing any further forward. They could absolutely murder everything in here if they really wanted to. I reckon. With triple Lehman Russes and all these dudes. But maybe they're keeping them on standby just in case you need to bring them out over here. They've got the relic. That's all they really need. A soul portal. Need to portal some souls around. And more discos and stuff. A disco Elysium, but a little bit more purple. We have a dice of destruction out for Demi on this. We also have a great webway. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Look at the economies. 398 and 483 and 221 and 323. Compared to 168 and 141 and 289 and 259. Compared to, well, you guys are dead. 70 and 11 and 342 and 179. Look at it from the dark. Oh, actually, you're way too bright. Imperial Guard will take you. So yeah, the, the Chaos players are rebuilding. But these guys are they're quite close. They're going to kill them, I imagine. Unless the slow-moving Terminators can get in there and do some stuff. Which I don't know if they're going to get there in time. All these brand new shiny plasma generators. And at the moment, yeah, okay, fair enough. Stranger's got a fair bit of economy on the go. However, the Tyranids are really struggling. So at the moment, if I was a if I was a guessing man, I don't know who wins this. But if I was a man who predicted results based on just a sheer amount of time these guys have had to build up their economies and their tech. And also we're gonna get a, we're about one second away from getting a Dark Eldar instigator Titan. Look at him go. Spindly arms. Not a happy customer whatsoever. But ready to relish the death and destruction. Now, can it get through this line of defense, I wonder? That's my question. I was going to see a great Cabal Citadel able to fire at everything on the map. I think. If I'm not mistaken. I can see an Exist. If I had some artillery fire, slide deposit down here has gone down. And the Force of Chaos have managed to defend themselves. Which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Oh, you can teleport. Right, that's fine. As right, so you teleport in the middle of nowhere. And just open up wormholes. And these guys are going to have to do something serious. To save their souls. Does not look like that they've tacked up all that much. In all fairness. I mean, they've, they've, they've got they've got artillery. But they've got nothing in the way of Titan destroying equipment here. A bit lackluster in the late game stuff. I mean, poor Repentia's. Go on, go, go up to him and just hit him with your chainsaw. Good lord, that was bright. That was unpleasant. So this is a slow siege. They don't even need to bring the rest of the boys over. They could just leave this... Instigated to his own devices. I'm going to see a dice of destruction. Go up at him. But then a monstrous chimera knocks on their door. 
needs to get a Titan. Half of its... Well, I mean, what should we call it? Void armor of... Oh, no, it, it regenerates it somehow. Okay, fair enough. Talos in there. Go on, Talos. In the middle. Doing what they do best, which is something, I imagine. Yeah, anything that's coming out over on this would spot the troops in the middle. Being shot down more or less instantly by the Instigator Titan. Claude Fiend. Slicing open. He scourges in close combat. Got a squad of racks. Opening fight. And we also have... Oh, you are now the... Ah, the Great Cabal Citadel. The biggest disco in the land. Not sure what's going on here, but it looks quite fancy. It's going to fire... A lot of stuff everywhere. Essentially just constantly fires at things. I don't know if you can choose where it fires. It just likes to... Ooh, what's this? So I saw some green stuff being dropped on there. Yeah, that's terminate. It's not going down there. They're holding the line. Con terminate is going to get involved in close combat. We are now seeing, however, the instigator titan turn his attention over to these guys as well as a storm blade being teleported in. Dice destruction as well for Demi. Terminators have lost their morale. They've also been shot at by all these guys. And heavy weapons add on is they popped on them. So a million plus. Good lord, this is. I hope that you're not photosensitive because this is definitely making my head hurt. Just bright colours, shiny things. Go on, Terminator. Somehow you got over here. I imagine you just teleported. But focusing on that economy. Not going down. They're hiding in the heavy cover. Well, actually, if you can see their green health bars over the, the blooming purple, they're going pretty well. Nice obstruction bringing in a dark arc over there. And all right, okay, fair enough. These corn berserkers, oh, sorry, not corn berserkers, corn terminators, going to waddle their way into the base and see if there's any good stuff they can zap and shoot. And they will see the main HQ. Which is attempted to go for Apocalypse Tier 5. If they can stop this, that means they can stop the Dark Elder from going for their biggest, baddest nuclear weapons. Trueborns. Found Dark Lances are greater Dark Lances. Which has scared them away from killing this Cabal Fortress. Can they see it? I don't think they can, I don't think they can see it. No, it's infiltrated. We can see that apparently, so fair enough. Over on this side, we are seeing some Redemptionists. Ooh, you're in gold armor. Let me have a look at you, girls. Stand still. Nice. Very fancy. You also have another woman in there. Good stuff. Well done, ladies. The Chaos Terminators, they've been killed, or at least have teleported back home somewhere. One Chaos Lord in Terminator armor. All in that line. Ergrin's going to come over and bash him. You're a proper good slam dunk in the face. Stormlord and Instigator Titan has walked into the southern base. I mean, normally this would look really dangerous and deadly, but these guys are also over here. So there. They're going to go for demonic armor. A desecrated castle as well. This is where the Force of Chaos get their relic units from. Not relic units, sorry. They, their nukes. That's pretty sick. Marauder Bomber. Bombing some Marauders. It's very cool to see. Chaos Terminator Lord just taking it on the chin. Like your Nan during the summer times. And ooh, Saint... Saint... <laughs> I thought that I was an L and I was going to read that something different. Saint... It... And I... I'm, no, no matter how, how I pronounce that word, you're going to laugh at me. So I'm not going to say it. You know what I think it said? Let's just leave it at that. You immature, blooming children. Anyway, the Saint's out. And she's ready to show some people the good stuff. But she dies. And she comes back. As is, as is the way that Saints do things. Pretty neat. Pretty alright of her to do, isn't it? The Vrax of Psycurd and the Incubus Coven are being absolutely toasted. Oh, it's get the bad is great cabal citadel. Does seem like the Saints has gone down again. And this is just Dark Eldar supremacy and domination 
And they said, all, all this dude needs to do is just stay here and they'll eventually win just by default because it'll constantly fire at whatever there is on the map. So they're in no rush. They can sit back and relax all day long and continuously tech up. And if that's not quick enough, well, the Imperial Guard, they can build up their nuclear stuff, which seems like they don't have any at the moment, but nuclear is always an option for them. Got double claw fiends here being shot at by an Inferno turret. We also have an incinerator, or an incarcerator. Little demony man in there, a little, little horror squad. Being pumped up for, for power, I imagine. The demon battery, over on this side, the instigator titan has killed everything. Is leaving Stranger the Listening Purse there? At least one. He's leaving, in fact, he's leaving him two. Uh, it's questionable. Questionable decisions. The Hive Tyrant, he's got wings now. That's exciting. But yeah, the, the Northern team and the... Well, the, the Northern and now the new Eastern team might have to come up to some sort of alliance if they want to take these guys on now. The other thing they could do it one on one, or two on two, should I say. Lane saying that. This might be the push they need to get that two on two before it becomes a potential threat. Fire those over here. A Matic Mystery Mac. Playing quite defensive this game. Has it really encapsulated the aggressive nature of the Tyranids, but this Hive Tyrant is going to give this Titan a good nibble on the shoulders if he can get to him. Go on, get him. Give him at least a little scratch. Yeah, take that. Hooray. Blitzer comes in as well. Now, actually, Titans do struggle a lot with melee troops, it has to be said. As we saw a long, long time ago now, how a couple of Titans were brought low by a bunch of Grey Knight Paladins. Also, oh, what's going on over here? Spine got without number. I see what he's done. He's saved all for... Well, he saved all his money for these dudes. These guys could just... Yeah, 25 in the squad. That's Redonk. Attempted to kill the Soul Portal. There's no Soul Portal's work. Spine Gaunt, you can't kill it. Or at least not with that attitude. We're all seeing the Instigator Titan actually struggling a lot against these close combat units. He's trying to run away. The Spine Gaunt saying, you know what? Stormblade, if that's even your name. I'm going to ignore you now. We've got shit to do over here. They can smell blood. They can taste it in the water. That's where they're going. I was Mutilators. Mutilators are amazing close combat. So that'll do them. Spine Gaunt's deciding to turn their attention back over here. Which might not be the wise thing to do. Because now that the Instigator can now turn back around. And start firing. They should have committed to the assault. Can't effects has been brought low. Listening person also struggling. Stormblade pushing out of that. Oh, what? What was that kind of dancing over there, Mr. Instigator Titan? I'm not sure what you're planning there. Attempts to construct a super weapon on the way, but they will not see the light of day, I'm afraid. Not unless, of course, these mutilators have anything to say about it. Giving him a good punch around the toes. Actually, Stormblade down. And with the Instigator Titan's teleport. Also on cooldown at the moment. Should be alright. On this side, we are seeing... Oh, just stuff. The second I thought they had their own Titan over here, then. All these bullets coming from? Where are they going? Never mind. They have got... Oh, right, Psycho. These... Ah, that's where they're coming from. So they've got their own Titan now. That's exciting. A whole army of corn Terminators and Mutilators chasing away the to get a Titan. Which they were until they stopped... I feel like I'm retroactively cast as cursing this. But they do have to make sure that this Marauder Bomber stays away from the Desecrate Stronghold. And now a taste of his own medicine. No matter how many Disco Lights you put on Demi, I'm not sure that's going to dissuade the Instigator Titan from firing at you any longer. Goes down. Well, I mean, it's, it's taking a lot of damage quite quickly. We are seeing a bunch of Ravagers and Reapers on this side, providing artillery support. 
holding on for dear life has the Eastern or the new Eastern team. But a counter offensive by the Northern team managed to save them from having to finish off that Titan. Although they could have probably done it if it stuck around for much longer. Seems like the Marauder Bomber has been taken care of. <laughs> I mean, these guys, they're not giving up. They're just going to constantly try and eat the Soul Portal. A delicious, nutritious Soul Portal. One of your five a day. Nine out of ten doctors would agree. And the Great Cabal Citadel is still standing. Ravagers moving in with their big things. But no, it goes down. The last of the Baleful Energies sticking around for smidgen. But it's actually... Well, was that... Is that a... Have they used a super weapon on there? It does seem like it. So Eldar... Well, Dark Eldar super weapon. Did you have the building for it? You might have. It's hard to tell, really. They haven't got the super duper citadel, not like the guys in the middle. But Storm Sword inside Yarnum Hunter's base is going to cause him some issues. Attempt to go for that tier 4. Do the sisters have anything on the map at the moment? Does not seem like it. Does not seem like it at all. What kind of economy are you floating with, Mr. Yarnum Hunter? Not much. Not much at all. I'm going to rely on the Dark Eldar for the defences. Instigator Titan for Psycode here. Looks like it's been taken down. More Marauder Bombers flying over in here. The Spine Gaunts mass. 25 apiece. That's about, that is quite literally 125 uh, Spine Gaunts there. Which I appreciate, you know I mean? No normally in this stage of the game, Everyone's like, oh my goodness, we need to build the big units. No. Not Mr. Mac. He's going to stay true to the Tyranid form and build all the little ones. Storm Sol has been taken care of, but not through... Well, not after lots of lots of damage coming in and destroying lots of these sisters' buildings. I'm going to see an Iris Spider, which just provides like a general AoE defensive buff against ranged attacks. If I am not mistaken. Soul Portal still vibing over on these sides. And over on this side, we've got a Gate of the Dark Mechanicum Titanic Armor upgrade on the way. And I imagine everyone's forgotten about this side of the battlefield for now. A nice place to sit and rest. Demi bringing in the... Well, because you lost all your, all your shit. How have you lost all this? Are you... Ah, stranger, you brought in the, the mutilators. Fair enough. There's a lot going on on this map. So I do apologise that I missed that. No, the Talos! I think that was a Talos, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the Talos for a while. That's emotional. If only it was a better unit. Let's get Titan teleporting in. And he's going to murderize the mutilators, bringing them down very quickly. Now I'm going to attempt to kill that field command. Field command also going to go for Imperial Victory, tier 4. Well, they've defended, but they have lost a lot of their stuff, so that's not great for them. And while those guys are being distracted... The Celestians and the Redemptionists are going to come forward and see if they can maybe knock these guys down a peg or two. The Tyranids have left some boys in the middle here for defensive purposes. We're also seeing the Spine Gods now moving over onto here, recapturing all their lost property. And a Ravager Titan on the way. Very exciting stuff. Artillery of the Dark Eldar trying to Pummel this thermoplasma generator into submission. And now the, now the, now the times are turning. Well, the, good lord, that's a really hard phrase to say. The tables are turning somewhat. Yes, they're rebuilding their great cabal citadel. Yes, they've still got a lot of stuff online, but looking a little bit more shaky than they originally did. Who are you, Tommy, Torn, Tormentor Assault Titan? Don't know why speaking is really hard today. Look at you, you're like a praying mantis, but angry and evil. 
We also have Saint Amabella. Sounding very angry for voice acting. And the Great Cabal Citadel now re beginning its vicious assault. No units, no buildings are safe. And it's constant fiery watch. It needs to get a Titan. We'll meander over, see if we can get, it, get any more killing done. Yeah, this is quite the significant siege. We've also, got a, we've also got a cheeky little Stormblade. We're not seeing much Imperial Guard stuff, though, I do have to say. I wonder if it's because they are literally just focusing on building up the Stormblades and the big relic units. Oh, it's got some Ogrins in there. In fact, double Ogrins. It's an interesting choice. Demi teleporting the Instigator Titan smack bang in the middle of the base. Very brave. Very brave indeed, considering that two torn Tormentor Assault Titans are walking in. Oh, they make me think of... I was wondering what they remind me of. You know the Scrabs from Abe's Odyssey? Yeah, I, f I think they're called Scrabs. Scra are they the red ones? Or There's also... The spiders. I don't know if they're called pikes. I what you know you know what I mean. You're, you're a cultured individual. You've played video games before. Either way. Titan goes down. And now these little uns get to maneuver. I've seen a storm blade or two. And they're gonna be quite apt at slicing them open. Not sure why they teleported their Titan in. Unsupported. They had all the artillery and stuff over here, as well as infantry that could have came over. But they decided not to. And they've just got these absolute units just coming in and punching Stormblades out and about. Well, a significant amount of Trueborn Warriors making short work of one of those Tormentors. So this guy's going to try and slice them up. But there's just too many. Surrounded by too many boys with shooty bits. Double Ogrins here just looking. Ooh, a Rampage, super heavy. Good for killing Titans and vehicles. If the unit count is to be believed. Doesn't seem to have that, that many shooty bits on it. But it did a job anyway. So I'm not going to complain. Sin Armabella also getting in a few licks. Gone down soon to be reborn. Or not, that's fine. Just confuse me more, why don't you? Sin Arabella. Stormblade surrounded, getting slapped about by the racks. Even the Great Cabal Citadel isn't taking them on all that well. Over here we've got... Oh, that's unfortunate. These Redemptionists, seven in number, against the unending Tide of the Spine Gaunts. They are bringing down fire upon the Spine Gaunts. How long can they hold? Especially when the Warriors are jumping in. Yeah, they're, they're, they're being unalived very soon, I reckon. But Dyer's Martyrs, that is what the sisters do. We also have, ooh, a, a, a Preceptor. Little winged lady. Very gnarly. More fire falling on these Obliterators, but they will win the ranged game. Very hard to defeat Obliterators in the ranged game, considering that their hands can turn into any kind of weapon that they want. Warriors opening fire. But the Redemptor is still stumped. They've still got seven models in there. And look look how much... If you can see the green bars, but nearly all of them have full health as models. Apart from the poor Exalted Hospitaller. That's because she hasn't got any gold armor. She's wearing a noob skin. Couldn't access Mother's credit card for Fortnite. So only got access to the basics. Who are you? Who's getting blown up here? You are the Honculus. And you are... Dead, question mark. Unless you get out of there. Quick, sharpish. Ooh. What are you? My goodness. You're glorious. You look like something from... Oh, the Iron Giant. Be good. Well, no, he's not being good. He's decided, sod you all. I'm coming in to kill shit. And kill shit I will. Good lord. Go and fire at something. Show us your power. Show us your might. It's like it's just walking over buildings and 
destroying things as it goes. Go off, Demi. Who, who, who was firing at it? Is it just... Is it causing anyone near it to turn mad? Lord knows what's going on. All I know is I want to see it shoot shit. Go on. Get over there. Reapers are moving around. Imperial Guard, I assume I've shot them all selves to death. Down on this side, we do have a Ravager Titan. Now, will it be able to do anything? Is this... Ah, oh, hoo-hoo! That's a good fiery bit. I like that. That's a Crate Castle. Looks like he's got some suit bows on the go. Yeah, that's just one normal attack from that thing. Crazy. Yeah, fire has been made. I mean, the mobile capital Imperialis, it's going to do its, its gosh darn best. This guy can't move. I think there's some sort of, like, HQ. Ah, the HQ here is in the way. More droning taking part. And it's hard to really tell what's going on at this point. So everyone's fighting on every single side. Got a lot of spine gaunts that could come over and maybe just do a little bit of tapping, but no, they're going to stand there as target practice for the... Or what are you called? We call the Agony Titan. Yeah, well, I mean, why not be target practice? No point in fighting the baddies. Stand around, look pretty. That's what I always do. Ravager Titan. I mean, it's still impressive. He's still a good lad. Still do a really good job at killing these things and wiping these things out he's doing, but when compared to this bad boy, although we are seeing some... Oh, we're seeing a Chaos super weapon going on here. And it's hard to tell on account of all these colours. Essentially, Chaos shenanigans are happening. An opening of the warp rift here. So it's at this stage of the game where you really don't know what's going on. I feel sorry for anyone who doesn't have the mod, uh, so the, the camera mod installed. The one Tormentor uh, Assault Titan ready. Not sure he's going to fare against his bigger bread of win, but that's fine. Big zap. Spangon's here. It'll continue to charge all the same. This guy doesn't seem to be able to move out of here. For whatever reason, he's stuck on something. Which is also a problem because it seems that this Agony Titan is, is doing some friendly fire on any units coming through. So he's actually kind of balls up his own strategy, I guess. Imperial Guard can't get through because he kills everything. And he can't get through anything else because for some reason he can't delete this. Because I assume that's what he's stuck on. Yeah, that's not pleasant. Or oh, is that... Or is it not because of him? Is it because of the chaos stuff going on around him? I can't really tell. If I'm completely honest. It's very difficult to discern what's actually going on. Whether that is chaos super weapon stuff. Whether that is agony, titan, AoE damage stuff. Now the way, titan is over here. Titan, titan action. Got one. Oob effects. One doing in. Gonna give it a good old college try. Gonna recruit the Lehman Russ Annihilator as well to join in. The Titan's taking quite a lot of damage, actually. Just constant fire coming in. This dude is... Well, whatever... The, the Desecrate Stronghold was there, and now it's not. What's going on over here? We're seeing a Great Cabal Citadel or Psycurd. And we've now got one, one brave Tormentor Titan moving in, aiming for the ankles. That's what he's trying to do. Two Titans working together to take out the big one. It's like Godzilla and King Kong versus, I think they fought Mecha Godzilla. I don't, I, that's another film I haven't seen. But they're going to give it a good old college try. Also got some obliterators over here. Strolling through. They're unable to get past this. What are you? Hold on to me. I assume you are some Dark Eldar stuff. Oh, you are Towers of Loving. Fair enough. Well, he's dead. Quite 
not very useful, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, amazing damage. If you could physically walk out of the base, you'd have been legendary. But clearly this field command was too important to delete. Could not get rid of that HQ building. Nothing else coming out of the ancient web sail for now. As the great Cabal Citadel continues to fire. But now it's just... Just ships going everywhere. Ravager Titan moving forward. Now the biggest thing on the battlefield. Ogrins will charge forward. They've been stored in the base for quite some time. Now we're going to see what they can accomplish on their own. There's not much to be turned to Molten Slag. That's sad. The morale's been broken, but... Now they're in combat. And look at the damage. And oh, the lack of it. Not doing a great amount. And you just want to get the morale back. They then lose it again as the Titan turns around. So Elgrin certainly not winning any trophies over there. We have got the Warriors on massing. Hive Tyrant with his wings. He's drunk his Red Bolt. He's ready to go for an action. Got Dice of Destruction and Ravagers. But, yeah, that's, that's confusing. We've got a Ravager Titan. A, a Ravager. Oh, fuck off. What up? Whatever these called, Ravs. Ravs on Rav action. Bloody Nora. Reading is so damn hard. Yeah, this good dude is firing along. And what is the current economy situation at the moment? Well, let's... But before we do the economies, let's just appreciate that the Blizzard Raiders have came in. And they've wiped out the entirety of Demi's base. By the looks of things. In the blink of an eye. I was too busy watching what was going on between these dudes, but... Clearly, my eyes should have been on the left hand side of the map yeah single handedly what what was that four units just come into the dark eldar base just kill everything ha huh. and I thought they were a shoe in for a victory considering that they had the lion's share of the map for the majority of the game but clearly it, it, maybe it might be the case just putting all their eggs in one basket I mean what they had the big agony titan but nothing really around it, you know? No masses of Lehman Russes. I mean, we got some Stormblades from the Imperial Guard, which is fairly good, but then they all kind of just, like, died when we tried to get past it. Not a happy situation for anyone. Got some Tyranid spawns been thrown down. Well, not spawns, sorry, some Spine Gaunts. Endlessly, without number. And they're not going to do any damage, but they're certainly going to be a nuisance. Gonna leave claw marks on the walls, reducing the amount of resaleability for that property, negatively affecting the income of the local landlords for the Imperium. And realistically, that's how you take down the Emperor. Pop the housing bubble of the Imperium. That's what you do. Yeah, good effort. But now it is these dudes. Tinders and Chaos versus Dark Eldar and the sisters. They are going to go for a ancient web sale of their own. They've already got their Great Cabal Citadel. Not much from Yarnum, in all honesty. He has got his second Ecclesiastical Servitor, but no big stuff. Oh, no, never mind. He's got a Missile Solo. Missile Solo here. So he might potentially be able to drop some nukes. Current economies at the moment are 259 and 341 and face 360. Wait, that's an Xbox number. And 221 compared to uh, 107 and 172 and 359 and 206. So that is quite quite a lot. Quite a lot of stuff going on. Things are dying over here. Obliterators getting some good. Good lord, Titan. You're too tall. I mean, the Tome Tormentor Assault Titan. A 1v1, I think he might actually win. Because he can kind of like ignore the rest of these guys' weapons and just go straight in there, but unsupported. Won't do all that much. Zone throws are out and about. A lot of range damage they do against Titans and buildings. Now we're going to see another Tormentor Assault Titan on the way. An ancient web sail. Building one over here, I assume preemptively because they might lose one fairly soon. Obliterator's been cornered in by a soul storm. And they're also attacking each other. 
some madness been brought into their minds. But some more mutilators over here, or obliterators even, whatever. They're doing stuff too. An incarcerator coming out. But Tim is just bringing on more green stuff. Death and destruction following in their wake. As more fire and brimstone is activated. It's been an insane game so far. Definitely not what I expected. Not sure what these guys could do in this situation. I mean, I suppose just a case of hold the missile silo for as long as you can and hope you can nuke the enemy into submission. But they know it's there. And these guys are just going to teleport in. Archons and the Incubus Covered is going to give it a... Cupboard? The Incubus Coven is going to give it a really good go. But just these obnoxious, blooming visual effects. It makes it impossible to see what on earth is going on. I get it, man. Flash is cool. Flash is great. The rule of cool is always the most important rule. Lord of mercy. If you, don't, if you can't tell what's going on, is it even a game? Scourge is opening fire on the obliterators as the Hive Tower and the Tyrant Guard come around the backside. And they're doing something. I assume they're hitting them. That's what my brain's telling me that they're doing. Oh, we've got another one of these dudes over here. Have you not finished yet? No, you're invisible. You are a fake one. It was something. It was doing something. Super Weapon Soul Cataclysm on the way. Cost them up to 20,000 souls. If they can get that off, I imagine it's one of those end game buttons. We're going to survive for a fair while. It's only at 6% and going up very slowly. But it is possible. Ravager. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the Rav Titan. He's back to full health, more or less. But the Obliterators have been taken care of. Oh no, sorry, there's some down here. Oh, there's some here. And there's some here and here. Okay, ne never mind. Some of those pictures where the longer you look at it, the, the worse things appear. Let's see some more Eldar big ravs coming out. And Assault Titans. There's a Valiant Defense. They're holding on for every inch that they can. Construct super weapon for the sisters at 84%. But has been taken down. So no super weapons for the sisters here. It'll be all down to if the Dark Eldar can keep up their soul cataclysm. Like I said, I'm fairly certain this is the if I press this button I eventually win. It's not looking it's not looking realistic. Here come the tyrant guards. A conga line of green and pink. The sheer amount of blade rays as well. Where are you going? Were you doing some squats then? Hey, never miss leg day. You can't cheat on leg day. That's the one. What's the one rule of the gym? I assume. Oh no, this isn't. This isn't pleasant at all. The Great Cabal Citadel brought down low. Oh, but it's healing itself. How? How are you healing yourself? Or where are you healing yourself? Can't tell. Green on pink, also hard to see. In fact, most colours on any blinding lights are quite hard to see. Oh, some explosions, I think, and the guard were killed. Got these dudes firing away. And the great Cabal Citadel. Oh, you're, you're getting shot at by some Dark Eldar boomy bits there. Which is exciting. What's going on down here? Oh, we've got a Cabal Fortress and some sneaky shenanigans off on this way. Matt 10114 has left the game. Oh, have you been, oh, that was the Chaos Demon player. He's been sat in here all along watching. That's nice. Part of the gang. Uh, where these guys have been... Uh, guys, sorry, have been slaughtered. It's a sad time for everyone. They're going to try and get one more Titan out just for good measure. But realistically, it is pretty much the end of the game. But we'll continue watching just for 
prosperity's sake, I guess. And also because St. Arabella might be able to get some comeuppance, some revenge for her fallen comrades. But it was, it was quite an exciting game. Like I said, I assumed that the guys in the west side of the map would have got it considering their map dominance for most of the game. Well, I think they made a mistake by when they killed all the stuff down here. They didn't then start taking it for themselves. They did not capitalize on the all this open space that they could have made use of. So, yeah, if they if they did that, I reckon they would have got a lot more economy. They would have got their super weapons online a lot quicker. And it would have been a Merry Christmas for everyone available. But they didn't. So, there. So, realistically, now we've only got who's left alive. It's just the sisters. And where it... Do you know what? You've got a Gleezakle Chapel. You've got one down here. And you've got some dudettes down here. Oh, did these guys... <laughs> They were fighting all these things earlier on. Uh, seems like they survived. So they can live to fight another day. There we go. That is the game. Yeah, cheers for sending this game in. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. Genuine pleasure. Uh, so if you want to spot channel, have a look at the old Patreon. One pound a month gets you one extra game a week. And there's also a Discord. Where Discord things happen. Uh, links in the description as always. As for Mr. Lunchark, pleasure as always, never chop. I will see you in a bit. Peace.